Hey with me guys, so this is my Hey Mitch Mitch review of The Handmaid's Tale Season 3, Episodes 9 through 13. Let's get into it, yeah! Ooh baby, do you know what that's worth? Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. They say in heaven, love comes first. We'll make heaven a place on earth. Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. <laughs> Be here until there's a baby. May I go home, please? You may go home when your walking partner goes home. Everything is always about you now. Your problems. You're different. You're a member of Joseph? Yes. How do you find Commander Lawrence? Commander Lawrence, we may need to set an example. And when Rachel saw that she bore Jacob no children... You helped to create this world. Are you working on a plan to get kids out? Yes. Who asked you to do that? No one. So it's your idea? Yes. Dumb idea. Time to go. May the Lord bless our endeavor. Amen. She was nice to me when she said goodbye. She's only nice when she's up to something. And please, you can try to understand. How could you? But you're gonna rot in this jail knowing that your wife betrayed you. The June Osborne you knew doesn't exist anymore. Gilead's changed her. District OP set up a search. I'm pulling the plug. You are not in charge. I am. So, episode 9, um, it was a good and bad episode, I mean, bad that it was all centralized in like one location, I mean, cinematography wise, that's, that is a good story point and we needed to see um, June go crazy and, and psycho. Um, bad, I guess, now that I have an 80s pop song in my head when, when it comes to this, but it's kind of funny, like, when I'm losing my mind now, I will, ha will be start singing Belinda. Charles C? Char I don't know. It's the 80s, whatever the 80s song artist is. And so, um, I have a new pop song to go sing when I go crazy. So, there's that. Um, another point into this episode that was cool is not only did we see, like, June go crazy, like, we actually have her brought her back. You know, we have Janine that says, like, you're, like, being selfish, and then that kind of wakes up June, you know, in this situation, so we needed this episode, so I see the importance, but it was kind of crazy that um, she needed to go through it. And all, at the end, you, you know, we see that she goes crazy enough that she wants to save all the children, right? Or as, as many children as she can. And then we also see that she is actually praying uh, for of Matthew, you know? And I'll go into that more, but like, it's, I, I like this, I like this theme of even though they are in Gilead, a, a hellscape of any of sorts, but they are still very much religious. So I think that's important. And then the Serena portion where she tells June, but you're supposed to be one of the strong ones. So I think that's kind of important, like for Serena's character to, to again, chip away that this world she's building, like even the strong ones cannot survive. And so, yeah. So, episode 10, I mean, that was a hard episode, as we all know. Um, I mean, but we had to go through it because, you know, we needed to see the extremes of Gilead again. And not, like, June is someone who is pretty much rebelling. And this is one of those episodes in which we need to see Gilead fight back. And so... As unpleasant as it is, it builds to June's character that like, hey, things are getting extreme and this is one of the reasons why we need to get out. Not even the commander is safe, right? And so that's an important factor into it. So funny, not not haha -ha funny, but I thought one of the parts that I thought was kind of hilarious in this episode is that everyone needs to come in to bear witness as, 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 as crazy as that is. But like in the Air Force, when you fail your physical training test, your PT test, Everyone's up in your business and just like this episode like the commander's up in your business your supervisor the PTL like everyone's up in the business So like for sir like for June like the key spouse the doctor everyone was up in your business So I thought it was pretty hilarious 
Because again, in the in the Air Force, when you fail PT test, everyone is up in your business so that you can pass your PT test. And it's kind of funny. So that's the main takeaway I got from this episode. So on to next. So episode 11, I mean, this episode is building on like fillers and like building on the story. And so we're seeing that we need um, the commander that, you know, June is with and help the situation, right? I think the biggest portion of this episode was towards the end, you know? But during the end, we see like the commander and Serena, they get captured. Um, we know that that is later going to be intentional, so it, it like that's the that's the biggest takeaway from this episode, right? And so, yeah. And then going into episode twelve, I think that plays a bigger impact, um, giving episode eleven where Serena um, betrays Fred. You know, I think this episode is uh, more indicative as far because we we see that it, it wasn't a trick on Serena's part, or we it's not a trick on the. Um, Canadian American portion it was purposeful on Serena's part and so you know we see this and then we see like you know Serena is all about herself again and yeah I mean it was it's good to see where this story is going and then going into the future um, going to the next episode and all that stuff even Fred turns on Serena and now both of them are pretty much incarcerated in Canada and so how how does the story go on from there? Are we just going to stop it there? Or maybe uh, we're going to see more of them. So if not, maybe their story is kind of ending. And it kind of goes, it, before I finish off, but like it goes into an idea after episode 13 where the show is going to go. But I'll, let me finish. So um, yeah, this episode, um, very cool. Um, but yeah, go to episode 13. Oh, um, real quick before episode 13, yeah, I forgot, um, June let, um, Eleanor die, and so, um, not, like, that's important, right? <laughs> um, sorry, I'm, I'm watching all of the flashback stuff, and so, yeah, when, when that episode, when that scene happened, when she touched the door and she paused, I knew, like, I was like, oh my goodness, she's gonna let this girl die, like, she's gonna do it, like, oh my goodness, and I can't, like, oh, like, this is, like, the part where you're thinking, like, June is, like, ruthless, like, I understand, you know, like, Eleanor poses a threat to the mission, and so I can't really necessarily blame her, like, and do you really think, like, in the process of running away, Eleanor is gonna keep herself together, and so, Obviously, those are things to consider, but like, I think it was just kind of crazy that she went that far, you know? But, uh, was it necessary? I don't know. But that, that part was like, definitely like, oh my goodness, like, like, she gonna let her die. So, yeah, okay, now, now into episode 13. And then, now going into the finale, episode 13, I think, awesome, good season finale. Um, to wrap things up, but of course this is where Fred betrays Serena or at least gets back at her because look he, he's he's in here because of her so that was cool and then obviously at the end where it's like this is this is D-Day this is May Day and then this is where they all exit out and so fully highly um, the anxiety is uh, right up there so really great as far as the episode goes so yeah, and then so wrapping up this scene, you know, where they're approaching the the airport in Canada, you know, it's it's really touching, it's really powerful. And then I, there was a fragment of myself that thought like that the plane was gonna be empty, but I'm glad that they didn't go there, that they actually rescued a lot of people, right? And so that that portion was really great. And then the ending sequence was even better, like. Um, with Serena being dragged out with the other handmaids. Again, if you saw my other reviews, and you can tell with my name, Hey Mitch Mitch, I'm a big fan of the Hunger Games. And that scene where she's being dragged up um, f with the other handmaids is just re reminiscent of Catching Fire, um, Hunger Games Catching Fire when Katniss is being lifted up. And I think those two images gives uh, an emphasis of like, success through sacrifice 
And so, I think that's really great. And so, so overall, again, this whole end sequence was really great. It just, it's, it's very powerful to finally see a great stride for what uh, the rebellion, I guess. And to see a lot of the children being saved, a lot, even some of the Marthas um, that are being saved. So it's really great to see that all happen and, and transpired. Um, going into overall, I mean, this season I thought was really great, you know. And there was great parts at showing the capital and there was other portions of seeing um, Serena's character developing, them going to Canada and June's character developing and going... Um, leading essentially the rebellion and or at least the sabotage because actually let me go backtrack because the all the marketing of this season was for the um, blessed be the rebellion best be the fight and I think a better um, message could have been blessed be the sabotage or blessed be the saboteur uh, this uh, blessed be the sub the subversiveness that is within this season because there's not really much fighting than it is the Again, the sabotage, the subterfuge within the, the season, right? And so, but overall, again, I enjoyed this season, um, seeing where it's going. Going, moving forward after this season, I don't know. Um, there's people who's been speculating theories as far as um, if June is alive, maybe this is the end of her season and people are thinking that her contract is done. I want to see a little more of her. Like, even if, let's say, she gets out of Gilead and she's fighting on the other side with Canada and the Americans, um, it would be nice that she turns over um, the Handmaid's Tale, the, the perspective of the Handmaids, to someone else. And I, I would like to see it from another character. Like, it's great that we have Janine and all these other Handmaids, but if we can um, emphasize a new character, that will be kind of great to, to kind of like not necessarily go have the this show into another direction but revitalize it bring new characters because even i thought the 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 commander that plays in law and order i forgot his name um but it we he, he since he died in the hotel like he's out of the picture and so i think there needs to be more people in, like there's they need to introduce new characters in this because I really want this show to go on for at least three more seasons um, Because I think it is very relevant and I'll probably do another video why it is relevant in 2019 I've been saying that and so I'll probably do an actual video for it But yeah overall the season was great. I think it was really fun. Um, I think season two was there was there were scenes in episode two that I think was very powerful, like the bomb, the suicide bomber, and the, the funeral sequence. I love all the overhead cinematography that was in that um, sequence. I think a lot of the great imagery was when they showed the Capitol. I think there was a lot of visualization and cinematography that was really great. And so, overall, I am really happy where the season went, and I'm looking forward to what this what the future holds for the Handmaid's Tale. It's definitely, and again, I'm going to put in another video, it's definitely relevant in 2019 um, with the 2020 elections and everything. So I definitely want to break that down and everything. But the last portion that I'm going to leave it with is the sequence, right? Like I said earlier in my comments, June is still very religious, you know? And I love that they showed their, um, June's kid, Nicole, if we want to go with Nicole, um, and so, I think it's kind of cool that they show this dichotomy of Gilead and their dedication with the Catholic baptism that Luke provided uh, with Moira for um, Nicole, June's kid. And so, I think that's really great. And then, a lot of times, June does know scripture, right? And then, in here, she ex and for her to be kind of like a Moses character and, and quote... Um, an interpretation of Exodus 3, 7. And the Lord said, I have seen my people in bondage, and I have heard their cry. I know their sorrows, and I am come to deliver them from the hand of evil men, and to lead my people out of that sorrowful place, to a land flowing with milk and honey. Um, I think that's really... Again, powerful because 
even like I said, even in the amidst the the hellscape that is Gilead, she still has faith in God. You know, ver even though this crazy theocracy country that is Gilead messes up the the interpretations of the Bible, she is willing to still have life in prayer, right? And I think that's kind of powerful because I want to go into that because people want to say like, oh, like um. America's becoming Gilead, America's becoming the Handmaid's Tale, we're going to be a theocracy. But at the same time, we have characters like June, who actually quote scripture. Like, you can have, there's extremists, right, that change it up into this world of totalitarian and fascism. But at the same time, um, fascism, more generally, puts government as God, right? And so for her, for June to be actually devout in faith is kind of interesting, right? And I find that very interesting because I'm devout myself. And so I think there's something to be said there that, you know, you can still be religious. Um, not not in your hellscape, but you can, you, there's still, re there's still religion in there. Like obviously Gilead screws it up and goes extreme with it, but even with Martha, or not with Martha, with Rita, she's still, um, she's still devout, you know, and she's like, people actually believe in God in this world, right? And in, in this world. Um, and I think there's, I think there's something to say there, but okay, um, that's just ranting, that's just me go going off a tangent and everything, but, um, like I, like I said, I enjoyed wrapping it up, I enjoyed this season, Put your comments below as far as what you thought. Like, yeah, I go way in deep in this thought process, of course, but definitely um, comment below and continue the discussion. Tell me what you thought about this whole season overall, what you think is going to go in the future, um, and yeah, um, put some great info in there. So tell me what you think about this review and everything. So yeah. Um, again, if you're new to my channel, I do TV movie reviews. I also talk about entertainment, culture, and purpose. So please follow me on my Instagram at HeyMitchMitch. And you can follow me on my joint Instagram at It's Mandatory Fun, where I do more videos with my friend Jen. And yeah, click that subscribe. Help me build my channel as I need to build an audience. So hopefully you can be a part of this community of TV watching and reviews. So click all the links around me and then see you in the next video. Peace!